Let's build a complete bone structure in the setup by key constraints step by step, so you can easily animate movements like walking, jumping and more. Whether it's for your creature, robot or insect character, this guide will help you rig this easy. Press Shift A, go to Armature and select single bone to add a bone. Switch to Edit mode by pressing Tab. Select the bone, press E then X to extrude it along the X axis, placing it next to the main bone. Go to the bone properties, rename it to bone1.r. The dot .r stands for the right side. Right click and select Symmetrize. This creates a mirrored bone for the left side. Enable X mirror to ensure symmetry. Press R then Y type 90 and hit enter to rotate it 90 degree on the Y axis. Go to front view by pressing 1. Press G then Z and move the bones downward to the center. Hold shift select the main bone then press Ctrl P and choose keep offset to parent both bones to the main bone. Press 7 for top view. Select the tail of the bone and extrude it along the X axis. Repeat this process 5 times to create 5 bones on each side. Select the last bone, press Alt P and choose Disconnect bone to separate it from the others. Repeat it for the offset too. This bone will serve as the controller bone. Select all 5 bones, press Shift D to duplicate them and move them forward along the Y axis. Rotate them negative 45 degrees on the Z axis. Then move them forward along the Y axis again. Something right here. And also move it on the X axis to make its position same as the middle ones. Ok, now duplicate this again and move it backward on the Y axis. Then rotate it 180 degrees on the Z axis. Then switch their positions by moving them on the X axis to align with the middle bone. Now we have completed the bone structure. Switch to object mode then go to pose mode. Press tab to switch to edit mode and ensure all bones are parented to the main bone. Press tab again to return to pose mode. Select the controller bone or the disconnected one in the front. Hold shift and select the bone next to it. Press shift i and choose to active bone. Now we have added a key bone constraint on the yellow bone. So the controller bone will control all the bones connected to the yellow bone. But we want it to control only bones on its side, so to do this, select the yellow bone, go to the object constraints tab and enable wireframe mode to see the IK control lines. Adjust the chain length until the IK only affects the first bone of the front leg. Repeat this for all legs. Now we will test and adjust the movement of each leg by locking specific axes in the inverse kinematic settings. Select a controller bone or the front one. Go to front view and press G, then move it downward. Let's try to move it on the Y axis. It's not moving properly, so to fix this, select these three bones and go to bones properties. Then go to inverse kinematics property. Now hold Alt and lock one of the axes. I will lock only the X axis and check if it that fixes. Only moving on the X axis is working properly. So to fix for the Y, select the three bones again and let's try out by locking the Y axis. Ok, now it's working properly. Now do the same for the other side. Turn on the X mirror to check them both at once. Ok, they are working properly. Now let's move on for the middle legs. Select the controller bone, go to front view and move it downward. Now, let, now let's move it on the Y axis. And put it something right here. Then select the three bones, go to bones property, hold alt and let's look the X axis first. Now let's try it out. The Y axis is working properly. Let's try out on the X axis. Ok, on the X axis it's not working properly. So select the bones again, hold alt and lock the Y axis. Ok, now it's working properly. Do the same for the other side. 
Now let's try both. Ok now let's do for the last leg. Move it downward first then select the bones, hold alt and lock the z axis for this one. Now let's try it out. Ok it's working properly on both axes. Let's lock the y axis too if it gets a little bit better. Ok it's a little bit better now. Now do the same for the other side. You can control all the bones with this bone, like to make it jump or dance, anything as you want. Now that your rig is fully set up and moving correctly, you can control it easily. Try experimenting with different animations and bring your character to life. If this tutorial helped, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Blender tips. See you in the next one.